Lewis Hamilton is currently a seven-time world champion, and to many of his fans, they actually consider him an eight-time world champion. Well, at least in the world of memes and t-shirts. So his official tally stands at seven. That is to say for now. See, that all might change soon, and Lewis could lose one of his championships, bringing his total down to six. And that is because Felipe Massa is considering suing the FIA over his championship loss in 2008 due to losing points as a result of the infamous Crashgate scandal. Actually, not even points, more like point. This could set insane precedents in the F1 world if it goes through as 2008 wasn't exactly yesterday, possibly giving drivers and others a means of legal recourse decades after incidents occur. Massa lost a 2008 title in dramatic fashion to say the least, his team telling him he'd won it at the Brazilian Grand Prix. That is until Lewis Hamilton finished fifth that race. Massa won the race, but in the final two turns, Hamilton moved up into fifth place, earning him just enough points to beat Massa in the championship. Right of a single point, in fact. So why the focus on the Crashgate scandal that occurred previously that year at the Singaporean Grand Prix? Well, if you're not familiar with Crashgate, then hold on to your jiggly parts. It's 2008, and Massa is leading the Singaporean Grand Prix. Unbeknownst to him, a diabolical plan has been put in place by rival team Reno to ensure a Fernando Alonso victory. I have a plan. Under orders from team boss Flavio Briatori and engineering director Pat Simmons, Alonso's Reno teammate Nelson Piquet Jr. Ring a bell, intentionally crashed at a specific corner to bring out the safety car after teammate Fernando Alonso conducted an early pit stop, propelling Alonso into first place where he stayed for the remainder of the race and costing a reliability-plagued Ferrari critical points. Ah, Ferrari, some things never change. One year later in 2009, the word got out and the FIA began investigating the allegations. And what they found out was that the allegations were 100% true. PK came clean, and after being offered immunity, laid it all out. Alonzo was the golden boy of Renault at the time, and the team boss Briatori loathed PK, strong-arming him into the plan. It was a toxic team, actually. Kind of disappointing. Renault even went so far as to concoct fake witnesses to counter PK's squealing when he came clean to the FIA. Alonzo, of course, denied any knowledge of the plan. That's worth repeating. Fernando Alonso denied any knowledge of the plan. Team principal, the race director, his teammate, everyone at the top knew of the plan and executed it flawlessly. Flawless victory. And yet he shrugs his shoulders and says, news to me, bro. Yeah, right. 2009, Briatori and Simmons were, for all intents and purposes, kicked out of Renault and F1 for race fixing. Okay, so the race was fixed and it cost teams and drivers points and not just Massa. So why bring the case now? Well, the then head of Formula One, Bernie Eccleston, recently stated that he, then FIA President Max Mosley, and others at the top knew of the race fixing when it happened. And then they decided not to do anything about it to, quote, protect the reputation of the sport or some other garbage. And that there was some sort of rule in place preventing them from taking any sort of action whatsoever. But they still could have and should have canceled it altogether. That means that if the race was canceled, no points would have been awarded to anyone, and Felipe Massa would have been the 2008 world champion, not Lewis Hamilton. Massa says, and I quote, the story should have been resolved as soon as it became known with the correct methods of justice. In other sports, titles have been revoked when things like this have been discovered, so why not in Formula One? Fair point, Felipe, fair point. Had F1 and the FIA done the right thing, at least the teams in 2008 could have reacted and changed their strategies for the remainder of the 2008 season. Doesn't necessarily mean Massa would have won, but vacating it after the fact locks in the points and the results of all those other races that year. And that would mean Lewis Hamilton is only a six-time world champion. Drama, drama, drama. I'm going to keep an eye on this, and you should too, because strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Let me know what you guys think will happen and where you've seen this in other sports good or bad. Thanks for coming by and I'll see you in the next one.